climate change and the lessons of El Nino, air pollution in the world's major cities and the quest for cleaner power sources, the global threat to water resources and the disposal of hazardous waste. These are a few of the challenges of the Desert Research Institute. DRI's worldwide search for knowledge is conducted to help preserve environmental quality amid the development of essential natural resources. The Desert Research Institute's challenges are varied and complex, but its mission is simply stated, research for a balanced future. When the Desert Research Institute was founded 40 years ago, it was a dramatic departure from the traditional structure of academic research organizations. Reflecting the complexity of the environment itself, DRI's organization draws its staff from many disciplines of science needed to address environmental problems. DRI employs nearly 400 full and part-time scientists, technicians, graduate students, and support personnel on an annual research budget of about $23 million. Less than 15% of this funding comes from state taxpayers for direct administrative support. Research grants and contracts won by DRI scientists comprise the primary source of the Institute's revenue. Much of DRI's research addresses environmental issues in the United States, particularly in the Great Basin, Intermountain West, and Southwestern region. DRI scientists are also active around the world. Along the Pacific Rim, DRI researchers have worked on projects stretching from Australia to Japan. Other research topics concern issues from Siberia to South America, across Africa, and to both polar regions of the globe. DRI's research has taken it to every one of the 50 United States and to every continent on the planet. Much of DRI's research has focused on specific environmental questions, such as an area's groundwater contamination or a city's air quality. Increasingly, DRI's attention is turning to the fundamental questions of environmental change itself. What are the natural processes by which environments respond to influences and impacts? And ultimately, what role does humanity play in these processes? The polar regions are some of the unlikely places that DRI scientists seek knowledge of how our planet is changing. DRI is guiding the National Science Foundation's effort to decipher the record of climate change buried deep in Antarctic ice. Other DRI scientists study the frozen continent's delicate ecosystem to detect evidence of climate change today. And looking toward another world, they seek parallels to the remnants of life that may be found on Mars. Back in Nevada, DRI is part of a project with the university campuses in Las Vegas and Reno to look at the impact of increasing atmospheric carbon dioxide on desert ecosystems. The delicate, rapidly adapting nature of deserts suggests they may be the first to respond significantly to these impacts. Using special facilities at the Nevada test site, Nevada scientists are subjecting a controlled experimental area to high levels of carbon dioxide to observe plant responses and how they use water and nitrogen in the desert. Another tool in this effort is DRI's Great Basin Environmental Research Laboratory in Reno. This one-of-a-kind lab conducts precisely controlled simulations of the response of ecosystems to environmental impacts and climate change. In addition to experiments focusing on high atmospheric carbon dioxide, scientists also use the Great Basin Lab to examine the role that plants play in the movement of contaminants through soil, groundwater, and the atmosphere. These studies extend to western forests to understand how basic plant nutrients move through these systems and how events such as fires affect these processes in fragile areas such as the Lake Tahoe Basin. DRI scientists in the western United States are using other ancient data to understand how life-sustaining natural resources have been affected by climate change. DRI's soil scientists and geomorphologists add to this research by examining how environmental change has shaped the land surface where we live and trying to anticipate how it will continue to change. The human record is being interpreted by DRI anthropologists on the Nevada test site, where artifacts and prehistoric evidence have been protected from pot hunters and collectors. The test site's more recent history, as the literal ground zero of a half century of the Cold War, is starkly recorded in the ruins of structures tested by nuclear blasts. 
DRI scientists are working to preserve these eloquent icons of a crucial human era. Since DRI's earliest days, its scientists in southern Nevada have studied how nuclear testing's radioactive products move in groundwater at the Nevada test site. Because of the area's low annual precipitation, the particles move only a few feet per decade. DRI groundwater scientists are also developing innovative techniques for monitoring hazardous wastes in groundwater. In Nevada, groundwater ultimately begins in the snowpacks of the state's many mountain ranges. DRI has a long history in the development of cloud seeding technology to increase winter snowfall and therefore our water resources. This cost-effective means of adding to water supplies increases snowfall at a fraction of the cost of buying water on the open market. Another practical service that brings DRI's scientific expertise to the people who need it is the Institute's Western Regional Climate Center in Reno. One of six national climate centers designated by the federal government, the center provides climate data and services to business and governments in 13 western states. The Climate Center's internet-based data services attract a half million visitors a month to its pages on DRI's website. DRI has also established a partnership with the National Weather Service to pursue research into mountain weather processes and improved forecasting techniques. The Weather Service is the first tenant in DRI's Dandini Research Park in Reno, where DRI collaborates in the use of advanced NEXRAD radar and experimental applications of Doppler radar for tracking local weather and air quality conditions. DRI's atmospheric scientists are also studying how pollutants in high altitude clouds affect cloud formation and reduce the solar energy reaching the Earth's surface, perhaps moderating the warming effect of greenhouse gases. In the Rocky Mountains, DRI's new Storm Peak Laboratory above Steamboat Springs allows scientists to study air motion and atmospheric chemistry from virtually every region of the continental United States. DRI's air pollution scientists have the leadership role in the scientific effort to detect and control the smallest airborne particles that hold the greatest threats to human health. With new federal funding, DRI scientists are assisting Southern Nevada air quality managers in dealing with consequences of the area's extraordinary growth. DRI's air quality expertise has also been exported internationally. Recently, DRI scientists have been called to deal with Mexico City's seemingly intractable air pollution, and expanding this research to other megacity sources is being considered. Other studies are using traffic in roadway tunnels to determine why real-world vehicle emissions are so much higher than the levels projected in the fleet tests conducted by auto manufacturers and federal regulators. DRI is a major technical resource for Nevada's program of economic diversification. The Institute's Dandini Research Park in Reno offers locations for research activities of industry and government agencies. DRI operates from the new Northern Nevada Science Center within the Dandini Research Park in Reno and the Southern Nevada Science Center in Las Vegas. As a division of the University and Community College System of Nevada, DRI participates in graduate instruction and research on Nevada's Reno and Las Vegas campuses, providing valuable graduate student instruction, supervision, and financial aid, and employing students on major ongoing research projects. DRI will continue to focus on the issues that affect our quality of life and economic well-being, providing a state-based resource for environmental stewardship and a valuable source of expertise for responsible natural resource development. For Nevada's environmental future and the world's environmental challenges, the Desert Research Institute.